What's up, universe? We've got the latest offering from 86 Baits. This is a continuation of the Doom Rider line, but this is the gill. And shares that same printed finish to it as well. Let's see how she swims. So we'll start with our standard straight retrieve. And this is about a medium slow. And if you get that uh, wide, lazy back and forth swim to it, and stays fairly upright as well. And we'll give it a little more speed and do a true medium. And again, that uh, big sweeping back and forth swim to it. And the key of this bait really is that uh, it doesn't like speed or real sharp inputs. Um, so we're gonna give it some nice easy bumps and yeah, work it around and show you what that looks like. So again, these nice easy bumps will get the uh, bait gliding back and forth. It's really a, a turn and a short little glide there. And certainly if you over hit it, you uh, are going to see some body roll introduced, but this nice easy bump just gets that bait going back and forth and hanging out in that strike zone. With that being said, we will add a little bit more speed and input. And we can kind of get it to uh, flash its sides a little bit and stay real near the surface. And on those real firm inputs, it uh, has a tendency to want to nose up a little bit, but uh, it certainly is controllable as long as you're not getting too crazy with it. Okay, two other things we're gonna do. Um, let's use the rod tip and kind of just twitch it back and forth. And just give you a little bit of that tighter action rolled near the surface. And again, not really a twitch, it's almost more of a little short pull. And the last thing we'll do is, I found that on a straight retrieve, if you keep your rod tip up, you can actually kind of turn this bait into a wake bait. And as it gets near the surface, the action will tighten up a little bit and throw off a little bit of a wake off that uh, the top fin there. So, once again from 86, this is the Doom Rider Gill.